Well, Time is, Time.com that is, is out with its top 100 movies of all time. The movies are listed on Time.com. And with us to talk about the list of movie magic is Mark Coatney. He's deputy editor of Time Magazine's website and joins us from the Time Warner Center in New York. Good to see you. Good to see you, Frederica. Now, the official list is going to be on your website starting tomorrow, right? So we're right. Getting, giving it a little preview right mm -hmm. now. All right, so did Jaws make that top 100 list? Uh, no, Jaws did not, although there are Why two not? Spielbergers. Well, you know, we had... We could only have 100. There's a lot it of movies impactful, in history. It was impactful, no doubt. Jaws Definitely was. Definitely did, yes. <laughs> um, so what's the criteria in order for this movie, a movie, to make it on the top 100? Well, the, the, our critics, our two critics had a different set of criteria, and we kind of merged the two. Um, Richard Schickel, one of our longtime critics at Time Magazine, looked at the list as, here are 100 movies that I really like. And when Richard Corliss, the other critic, was kind of coming to it, his conception was, here are 100 movies that mm -hmm. represent all of cinema. And so we kind of took mm -hmm. each one of their lists and we smushed them together. And there really wasn't much overlap. Each one had about 20 in common, maybe. And then we kind of fought a lot and negotiated it down to the 100 that we wow, had. Wow, so now. Richard Square almost saw eye to eye? Um, <laughs> almost. <laughs> there, were a lot, there were quite a few movies that they disagreed on and, and some trading that went on you know, in the process. And so how did you all as a committee decide on what movies to eliminate? Was it by you know, the genre of movie, the categories, uh, how they impacted people or moved people, et cetera? I, all of those things, really. Um, and, you know, sh honestly, some of it would, would, would they, both critics would agree, some of it is just, here's a movie I liked when I was 20, you know. Um, but, uh, mm. yeah, all those things came into play. You know, um, Corliss, for instance, really insisted that we have something to represent South American cinema, so, which is why City of God, which is a fairly new film, is on the list. And, you know, Schickel felt very strongly that we should have something from the silent movie era, so we have a couple, you know, like Metropolis, for one, or um, uh, Sherlock Jr., which is a Buster Keaton film.